Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway, reported a loss of nearly $50 billion in the first quarter as the pandemic takes its toll on the economy. The company announced it lost $49.7 billion or, or more than 30000 per Class A share in the first three months of this year. That's down from a profit of nearly $22 billion in the same period last year. Berkshire owns more than 90 companies, including the BNSF Railroad and Insurance. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett held the conglomerate company's annual shareholder meeting on Saturday virtually. And though many businesses have taken a hit in the first quarter, Buffett believes the U.S. economy will eventually recover from the coronavirus outbreak. This is a question that comes from William Lewis. He said, please, did I understand correctly, Mr. Buffett, to say that Berkshire Hathaway sold its interests in four different airlines? And if so, can you name them? Can the names of those airlines be identified? Yeah, the, the, I, I wouldn't normally talk about it, but I think it, it, re, it requires an explanation. And, uh, uh, and it requires an explanation that means we were not disappointed at all in... Uh, the businesses that they were being run and the management, and, and, but we did come to a different opinion on it. And the, the four large, they're the, the four large, they're the four largest uh, U.S. airlines. It's American Airlines and Delta Airlines and Southwest Airlines and United Continental. And I think collectively they, they probably, uh, or at least 80 percent of the revenue passenger miles in the. And the world has changed for the airlines, and I don't know how it's changed, and I hope it corrects itself uh, in a reasonably prompt way. I don't know whether the um, Americans will have now changed their habits or will change their habits because of, of uh, an extended period, if it happens, that uh, we're semi-shut down. Uh, suit I wear. So uh, it's been seven weeks since I've had a haircut. It's seven, been seven weeks since I... More than seven weeks since I put on a tie or anything. I've been just a question of which sweatsuit I wear. So uh, who knows? Uh, who knows how we come out of this? But hey, come in, come in, come in. no. South go today for the 142. <laughs> how can the price be going down? Something's wrong. Where's Wilson? God help us! Where are we? This is an outrage. I demand an investigation. You can't sell our seats. A duke has been sitting on this exchange since it was founded. We founded this exchange. It's ours. It belongs to us. Oh, my God. Well, your brother's not well. We better call an ambulance. Fuck him! I want to give all the praises and the honor. To Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere Shalom, peace to the elect. Shalom means peace to the elect. All praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, I want to touch on this video real quick. I ran across this video somewhere. I don't know how, but uh, <laughs> I decided to do a video on it um, with this guy. Um, uh top was he's in the the stock markets one of the top men in the stock uh stock stock markets um Warren uh, Berkshire Buffett I believe is his name uh Berkshire Hathaway you know so he got juiced in I read a little bit of his biography he got juiced in uh he goes back in the 1940s where he was introduced to um the stock market by friends okay they all juiced in man you know you know these people that run this world you know just look at the name okay so you know you got to know that you know everybody talks about peace love and we need to get all to get along and pray for one another all that bs when you really look at it these people that stole the world and set up the stock market off of the backs and the bloodshed of Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites, and still making money off of you Israelites. This is how it was started, and this is how it's founded, what they call old white man's money, okay? It was never fair back in the 40s. You, you so-called blacks 
was still in some form of uh, moderate slavery. You Native Americans, you know, and even the so-called Asians, so to speak. You was in some form of moderate slavery. And, and especially the so-called black man, you know, water holes, beaten, couldn't use certain restrooms. How the hell was you supposed to be on the stock market? And did you really think that they would let your, you know, your so-called black self, you know, make it up to the stock markets? Okay, and this is why the most high, this is why we're supposed to wait on the most high. We see things switching. And then I'm on YouTube, I'm seeing Jake trying to get in the stock market. Look, man, there's nothing wrong with investments. I always say that if you want to invest in certain things. But you know what? We're in the truth. But you got Jake's that's not in the truth. They learn in that stock market. There's some uh, Jake in the truth I, I, I didn't heard that's getting into that stock market. So this is going to cause a lot of trouble for Edom, man. And you know what? He will burn it down before he let our so-called black asses <laughs> run the stock market but you know what's going to happen the most high let's go to isaiah 13 11 and this is the most high i will punish the world for their evil you know that's how it was all set that's how they got all this money right and the wicked for their iniquity i will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease right and i will lay low the hardiness of the terrible right so what you see now is the the, uh, the demise of Babylon. Babylon was built, which is what we call this place we live in today. It was built on bloodshed. It thrived on bloodshed. And it's going to die by bloodshed. Okay? That's how it's going down. And everything you've done, you have to pay for it. Okay? Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. It says, That which have been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and Yahweh, God, requires that which is past. Okay? So that's why I put the clip in there, the um, trading places, because it's spiritual. At the end of the day, they look at it as science fiction, but we know everything that's science fiction always come to pass. You know? That stock market will crash, and then they're going to try to ultimately bring in the microchip. Okay? They will bring it in. And um, this man, uh, Warren Buffett, Berkshire Hathaway, you know, he's uh, he said he can't sleep. <laughs> well, basically, he haven't had a haircut. He hasn't wore a tie. This is the most high, man. The most high is doing some things. He's taking your power. And no matter who you set up as these fake Christians that come against us, it's still going down. You know, like young Jock said, it's going down. You know, <laughs> the old rap song, you know. It's going down. There's nothing you can do about it, okay? And we see, we, we understand the plan. He also said that he's selling all the stocks out of the airlines. What is that telling you? There's, there's nothing here. America's being liquidated. There's nothing here. Everything is being sold overseas. In fact, nothing in America is owned by America at this point. Damn near nothing. I remember years ago, you would buy a, a, a ratchet set. Anybody who work, does any kind of auto mechanic work, you would buy a cheap ratchet set for like $8 or something, and it said made in Taiwan, right? And you knew it was garbage. You might, I mean, if you were certified and you was really a hard worker, you knew, you knew that, that that ratchet was garbage, you know? So you would use it, and then, and then the son of a bitch <laughs> would just snap and fall to pieces in your hand because it was made in Taiwan. You knew it was junk. But then you would get a certain kind of tool, you know, like Snap-on or, you know, Matco, you know, top tools, even Craftsman. That was, that was tough. Well, now those stocks of all those t tools are pretty much sold cross sea. So all those tools are made in China. They're very... Uh, country that gave us the most garbage equipment, even your car parts. So we can see that this place is being liquidated. Okay? And Warren Buffett is telling you that. Joel 3 and uh, 3. It says, um, let me go to 2. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, 
and will plead with them there for my people and my heritage Israel talking about the Israelites right because if you if you are already in uh, that land now why would he have to bring everybody there to plead with them in that land this is talking about a nation of people whom they have scattered among the nations this proves it's not talking about one land they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land okay and they have cast uh, lots for my people and given a boy for the harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink and this is you know you know your stock exchange this is even before it hit New York they had a form of a stock you know and then when we had Tulsa Oklahoma and we tried to get our own money together even before that we always had things that we tried to get together and and make of our own and it's always been destroyed because you had a sellout on the insider that helped set it up man it says yay and what have ye to do with me o tyree and zidon and all the coast of, of palestine will ye render me a recompense and, and and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily i will return your recompense upon your own head you know because you these other nations have sided with um uh this man edom for the slavery you know to put us in slavery because ye have taken my silver and my gold right and have carried them away <laughs> into your temples my goodly pleasant things right and that's why that's how they made all that money you know coming over here getting gold with the most high gave them the, the power to do that and set up their stock exchange man that's all it was and and really this place is nothing but a front store to the world. You don't lay where you do your dirt. Okay. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold to the Grecians. Right. And ye have removed them far from their border. The, these, you know, even when you go back to the slavery selling back and forth, these, these elites have all gotten together and set up people under them. Uh, to help, you know, make these exchanges and sell and back and forth as slaves, merchandise. And that's all we were. And this is how they set up that that uh, stock. You know, that's why it's called stock. It, you were stock. Okay. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them. I will return your recompense upon your own head. And see, they don't believe that. They don't believe that this is going to happen, right? Like when we were proud and we was running the show, we wouldn't believe that these th th this man that was, I'm going to say Job 30 and 5, this base man could really come up and be over us like that. But the Most High did it. And so shall he do it again in reverse standards, trading places. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and you will sell them to the uh, to the Sabians, to the people far off, for the Lord have spoken it. Okay, and you can read the whole chapter. So the Most High is going to do the same thing back. I mean, you know, everybody knows that there's no new thing under the sun. Everybody knows what goes around come around. Everybody says that. Even this man in this society upholds that. He said, if you do something to somebody, well, there's a thing called justice. We go to court, you know, you go to court and you, you, justice is served. You do your punishment and you do your time, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. I just wanted to show you that this, this place is going down and uh, there's going to be a whole lot more sweating when it comes to that. And they're going to have no choice but to crash that economy and reset. And, you know, even though they know some of it, what's going on and what they're doing, uh, when you read, what is that, Job 20, 20 of chapter, when it says they're about to fill, it, fill their belly, then the most high is going to pull a plug, man. But they're sweating now, and they know it. They know they're pushed into the corner, because if they can have it their way, they'll keep running the world the way they run it. But they know that they have to do what Satan tells them to do, which gets his authority from the Most High. They have to follow through with the procedure. 
They're in fear now, and they have to do what they have to do. And they ain't going to have no choice but to do the will of the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. That's all I have on that. Shalom.